Hello there guys and welcome back to saving current campaigns as we have the new Leviathan DLC of course we also have the new save games to save and this time I'm going to play as Prussia that is pretty much behind in ideas, behind the technologies and pretty gigantic European coalition. So first of all let's hear what is the current situation. Hello Slavic, this is my Prussia campaign. I was the head of HRE, but to become Prussia I became Protestant. Before leaving the HRE I managed to inherit Burgundy, and later because of that everyone turned against me. I was in an alliance with France, Austria and Denmark, but France and Austria left me alone. Unfortunately, I am against a big coalition of whole Europe while being behind in tax and no money. I hope you can save my game. Thank you. Alright, we are in the save game. First thing is that we completely don't have money to maintain our army and we already started taking loans and the loan cap isn't that really big. There's not much possibility to build up more armies. We don't have stability, which means devastation. We don't have the power position at this level and I can see right away that we could get it over 50. So my first action as a player here is going to save an insult to Evo Austria or Moscow. We are not going to do that because we are at war with both. Second worst thing, if you ask me, is that even though we are Prussia, we have our military skill zero monarch. This is cursed. Okay, <sighs> this is going to be a lot of work with this save. First war is at least only against Austria, so this one will be easy peasy, little squeezy. I'll deal with this, but the second one feels like a bigger challenge. But we have a couple of allies. On the numbers, yeah, we are severely outnumbered. But if we could get our troops together, start running around and win the battles, we could they get something better than what they probably suggest, which is yeah, this province, this pro yeah, that's I would say we could try getting it better. The question is, do we want to do so with our <laughs> with our current situation with the money? Or we just want to give up those provinces just to get them back later? Because also, yeah, the aggress expansion is pretty huge. And considering that it's. We don't have that many lands, it's cursed. Oh, I didn't notice that earlier. We are unique 1 mil point monthly. I'm not surprised you are that we are 2 mil techs behind, where at least we are not finishing any military ideas here, but. Oh my boy. Even that, remember that you should still get level 1 advisors because they are cost you close to nothing. This guy is level 2 and 6 month. Let me try getting someone level 1. This is very good news. We have 22% of the crown land. And what is our local autonomy? Local autonomy is okay. I'm going to save the titles to get some funds in running the war. Let me get the diet, which is going to be to get the barracks. I will even start building that later after the war. And we have an army here and here. So if we get those two stacks together and start running around and winning the battles, we can get enough war score to just lose less land. Okay, let's try it. This stack is a little bit too big because current combat with is 25. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, let's delete this guys because it's just 300 boys. Uh, let's get a leader, which is going to be, uh, both leaders are somewhere. Let's uh, use this leader. I'm going to decrease the amount of infantry, well, it's all unfilled stacks, unfortunately. So let's shift consolidate, get the empty stacks out of it. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'll have to fight like this, 18 0, 12 and uh, not even reinforcements, because those are just empty stacks that still need to reinforce. And I'm going to try fighting on the heels. Let me go, I'll wait, because we can still get more morale. Uh, maybe... We need level 1 ad advisor here. At least we won here. And that's a little bit of the war score. I'm going straight to patch with this stack. Once this guy's finished, I'm going to attack here. Okay, guys, this is good news. I'm going to attack on his farmlands, but I'm going to bait them. Oh, no, 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 no. I changed, I changed my mind. I changed my mind. I changed my mind. This march is down. Could try fighting this 8000 instead. Let me go there, win this one battle. That should be an easy one. Just over here, this uh, it's 21% here. We need to go in. Let's go. Yeah, and these guys will just reinforce with shift consolidate. And uh, we won on the north. 
That's good news, that's some war score. I'll try catching this 9000 next. So we'll be trying to win many battles here just to get more of the war score. And this is a good starter because we just stuck wipe the freaking Swiss. Uh, of course, it's just a starter. Uh, so again, let's get these guys and uh, kill them. And we need to keep looking for such opportunities like this one a second ago. So I will start even going north right now to try fighting these guys because here they have too many troops. There we go with another situation to use. So let me shift consolidate this stack. That could be even a stack wipe. That should be a stack wipe. There we go. That's another 3% of the war score. And uh, I'm going straight farther north now. This is a little bit harder battle, but you can see that arm our army quality is not bad. So I'll wait actually with the reinforcements, because they're coming with way more troops. So what I want to do is to reinforce that in the very last second. Are we building any more troops here? Just please stop. What I'm going to do, I'm going to wait. So this stack will reinforce, but in the new month. I stack with here in the meantime. So if I reinforce in the new month, those boys will be able to reinforce a couple of troops and this way, instead of 6.8, I have 8.5 thousand to reinforce and they even run away before that was done. So we already have 13% of the war score and we've cleared the offer, now it's 55%, so we decreased that by 20. And I'll try to work in it further, but uh, looking at this 40k just next to Berlin, I think we have to hurry. Yeah, I wanted to engage here, but they have over 30,000 troops waiting over there, so not gonna happen. Um, but uh, trying to cage these troops around here will be definitely something easier. So let me start going over there. With the hope to actually cage them. Oh, no, 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 you just go straight to Ludwig. Come on, you can cage them. Ah. You know, this is just us. Yes, okay. This should be an easy stack wipe. And easy stack wipe equals easy war score. This is easy war score. Come on. Okay. And we need to really... We really need to hire because uh, they are seriously conquering a lot of lands over there. We have the ninth Diplotech, so it's good. I can finish my influence ideas and get infantry combat ability 20% and unlock the attrition for enemies thing. It's okay. So, as we have the ninth Diplotech, what I can do right now is to go to the attack map mode find the guys that have the best technology, so the Ottomans, and start building spy network on them, because this will give me the tech cost, why I'm going to cancel this at the same time to be able to have a diplomat to peace out. And of course, each time I'm going and engaging on the people, I keep shift consolidating the troops, because remember, if it's just 300 regiments, this is not fighting the same as 1000 regiments, it's fighting way less, so uh, we are getting some advantage things to it, and after stack wipe and stack wipe and stack wipe, I also do the same here. We are getting slowly to more and more war score, and I can get only actually 14 more war score for winning battles. So remember, this 80% peace deal, now it's 41, so I could just uh, leave this and this for a peace deal, but no. I will fight a little bit more. The last stand of the Prussians here, they attacked me when I wasn't looking, I was busy running and stack wiping with this stack, so they caught me, and <laughs> so far we are winning and they are not reinforcing with more troops, so I might win a battle 15 versus 40k troops, uh-huh, <laughs> we just won, I think that's the max that we can get from the battles, actually we could get 4 more. But no, I want to uh, leave it on that, I think. How close is the white piece? It's not even close to white piece. Right now they just want Lutich, they want me to release Bar, and they want me to release Livonian Orders. Mm. Uh, yeah, looking on these percentages... And I just can... Yeah, it's just four more wars that I can get. Time to peace out. We minimize the losses, thanks to it. So send this peace deal. And uh, <laughs> the aggressive expansion... Uh, We'll be dropping, but at least right now it's uh, it's a little bit better. And they can just focus right now on destroying the shit out of Austria. Funny thing, we didn't take a single loan yet. Only thing that I do it is to take this. And they also have... Uh, oh my god, don't you say... No, not the Monopolies. It's my biggest enemy. I, I freaking hate Monopolies. Anyway, I and no PowerPoints. So you're saying there are Monopolies taken, but not the PowerPoints. Ooh, it's worse than I thought, guys. It's worse than I thought, but it's okay. I'm going to cancel the monopolies later. Uh, oh my god. 
First, I'm going to take the 1% uh, loans. So I'll repay things with the 4% loans. So instead of, I don't know how much interest, I think it was like 5 or 6, we're just paying right now 1. These guys, uh, I'm going to just consolidate them. And these guys, I could, believe me, I could probably delete them, but I'm going to try dealing with Austrians first, and then I'm just going to delete these uh, mercs. Now I also see these guys. <laughs> we are a little bit over our governing capacity. Oh, why you have so much lands? <laughs> I'm not surprised that we don't have the stability, because... It costs us 500 admin points to increase it because of the gathering capacity and reduce unity. Ooh, I will have a lot of things to fix over here. Let's start maybe with uh, cancelling this. Like, we have useless privileges, but we didn't take the most important ones. So that's why all of it hurts us so much. Okay, guys. Step by step. I'm going to cancel this one. I'm going to take the advisor's cost. I'm going then to take the ad <laughs> I'm going to cancel this and also take the advisor cost. Just for now only this. I'm going to cancel this and take the advisor cost. I'll have to take care a lot of this. This will take time to fix the privileges. Now if we vien down, I have 45% of the worst on Austria. I'm going to take all of I'm going to take more time to piece it I want money and I want war reparations out of this. That's the most important decision of the episode. Cancel the monopolies. All of them. I'll probably need still to... Okay, yes. Bye bye. Especially on this. Bye bye. It was really nice to meet you. The next step is going to take the manpower privilege. Which is nerfed already on this patch, but it's still okay to have it. I'm going to retake the supremacy of the crown, and later I'll also get the power points, but we don't have the crown for it yet. Why over here, I have the admin points, I have the advisor cost. I'm going to probably take the gap capacity later, but that's not yet now, and I need to cancel this monopoly for sure. Now they're happily accepting my peace deal, and I also want the humiliation to increase my power projection at this point. And maybe you could break your relations uh, with... doesn't matter. Just peace this out, we can repay three of our loans, so I'm not going to do that yet. Now we need to delete the mercs. We need to take care of our gaff capacity. To do that, I'm going to feed Teutonic Order with all of these lands on the east. <laughs> because our gaff capacity does not support that much. I just need to retake those provinces from the rebels. And we're going to work on this. We fixed pretty much the economy, slowly. But all I have to do is to delete a couple of the forts. Of course, some of them were really whole useful in this last war. But we don't need that many, and especially on the, all these farmlands, I just need a couple, like this, and these are the key ones. This uh, might be useful, and yeah, we are going to stay on that, and uh, I'm working on this. Of course, my advisors cost tons of the money because of that, but again, we are working on this. To deliver the calf capacity, I'm going to release also a vassal over here. I think Burgundy might be a good idea, but no, it has a course on 24 provinces. I want to keep this, probably, and I can get rid of this at the same time. Auvergne should be actually a good idea, because it is going to have course on France, and course means less aggressive expansion. So let me release them. Let's see, they have any cores? Uh, one core, that's always something, and I'm going to feed them with all of these provinces. Next step, building courthouses in the lowlands with all of these massively developed provinces. So, slowly you're bringing this down. We're also in the middle of the Dutch Rebel disaster. Not sure if it works on this patch, but on the previous patches, all you had to do is just to richly move your capital to the Netherlands. So let's move it straight to Den Haag for 189 power points. And if we wait a month, you know what's possible? That moving the capital might prevent the disaster from firing. But it's not going to stop it once it's done. But it's anyway good news because I just moved, thanks to it, I moved my main nodes to the English channel. 
uh, which is pretty strong for us. And I'm going to start transferring my trade power from you back. What I could also do, of course, I don't have money to increase the trade centers, but let's actually see if we start protecting trade. Those three states have tons of trade centers. And the source of trade centers, with this mission actually as well, means that we are going to start... Oh, yes, we are right now a kingdom. Kingdom means more governing capacity. And... Now it's 31 and 19.6, now it's 24 and 36 percent. So we are fixing everything and bringing it to the right place. So what I can do finally, uh, how is our autonomy right now already? <laughs> Let's just see. It's decreasing. Okay, I can do this, guys. I'm going to seize the land and I'm going to take the monthly meal points. What I would have to do in the future is to do the same with the burgers to get also the diplo points. But first, I need to get rid of this monopoly. Now we are running 21 ducats because I almost fixed the whole governing capacity with the buildings, with the promises given to the vassals. It's way better now, but we have a lot of more work to do. Our ruler just died, but it's okay because we have a new heir, which is going to come from in seven years. My regency is not the best. But this is the most important. We need more mana generation to get back in the decks, which you can see we're working on. We already have like 6.6% of the tech cost from Spine work on the Ottomans. So this cost us just 300 points, but I'll get it even cheaper. We can repay the last loan, which allows me to get this mission, which is giving me level 3 advisor over here. That is just costing 7 monthly. Can I afford 7 monthly? I actually could, and I will, we need power points. So to take him, I'm just going to take the burger loans again. First of all, to take this advisor, and second of all, to just keep investing that in the state houses. So a few more state houses, a couple of the, oh, this would be so useful. It's not the fact that we have the freaking monopoly on it but it's okay i work on this the mormon power manufacturers are not that good that we are waiting and uh, the trade centers ha, i have all of them already here good and castile decided to break the alliance with us because they have the domineering attitude towards us that's very bad news because it means a collision is way more likely to happen Again, the truce with all chance is long, so I'm not scared, but truce with the others ends in three years. Ooh. See, I almost forgot. I can spend this money on increasing my trade centers, buffing my income farther. It's 21 point. Yes, that's 24 right now, so we're getting it even higher. Well, maybe alliance with Castile ended, but alliance with England is the future. Okay, uh, there goes the collision war. Well, this time it's a little bit smaller, and I think we should... That, that's easy peasy, guys. Yeah, that was pretty easy. We've killed 89,000 of them while losing 30,000 of Prussians. I can take money, but it's like almost nothing. You know, this piece is more like about getting longer truce than any actual gains. We just need a truce to be able to decrease the aggressive expansion. We didn't get much of the peace because second coalition just attacked us, but still, I believe even though we are number 2 to 1, it's just a matter of running around and stack wiping the enemies for the free war score. I already got to the max war score for winning battles, I killed 170k of them already, so what I'm going to do is to start occupying a couple of the promises and count for them. To actually white piece me in a second because uh, I'm pretty much sick of uh, this constant wars. Now as I'm hitting the max points on the Diplo, going to take this tech for just 280 points. Could take the other one, but I need more spy network on the Ottomans to get a better tech cost. Finally, I can get rid of this. No more monopolies. Next thing is to do here is to save the titles. It's free money. And just after this, I'm going to seize my land to get it for, of course, this is some rebels, but... <laughs> and my ruler got the advisor cost. And with this, you can see this all is even cheaper. 
And yeah, we finally are coming with some production income where we got rid of the monopolies. So it's right now 61 in total. With five of the crown land, I'm going to get the gaff capacity. And now I know it's zero, but I'm going to get uh, this in four years. First, we need to death like six times to get it to 1%. Because if it's going to be on zero, then those guys will be super disloyal like they are right now. So I'm just going to the cheapest province level, which is Altmark. I'm going to it one, two, three times. One more time. So this is right now one percent. And with this one percent, those guys are again loyal. With this, I pretty much fix the gap capacity. We are not losing that much, and we are even slowly getting some militarization. The disaster finally finished, and I'm aware that my low crownland is not helping with local autonomy. So what I'm going to do is to, of course, decrease it wherever I can. This will mean more rebels, but we are getting the income even higher. Same with the marksman power, which is already over 108,000. With our money, we have 4 to 2 advisors, so it's now 14, 9, 12 mana generation, still earning money, and this will help me come back in the technologies. Why, in a second, I'll finish the economic ideas, which will give me 20, 24, 35% death cost. And let's actually look how it's going to change my death cost. Just take this, I can take mm, income from vassals, might be actually. Let's take the death cost, I want to really see it. Yeah, right now I can death for 20, but remember, I don't have the death cost from the burgers. And I don't have any prosperity in any province. Guys, I'm not sure if uh, Inukshuk should be in Bremen. And I'm not sure if it should be in Holstein, but it's in both of the provinces. Printing press unfortunately started in Dortmund, so... Close to us, and is it... Uh, yeah, it's printing, practicing all of our provinces. And it's spreading considerably nice. Yeah, it shouldn't be taking much time to take to us. In the meantime... I can take one, two techs, so I'm no longer losing the innovativeness. And I'll do the same here, but I'll be waiting with that a little bit to just get even better tech cost bonuses from the spy network. I'm going to do the same again, so we're going to sell the titles. I'm going to seize the land right now, so it's 4.9. We need to dev one single province to increase it. Rizal looks like a perfect province to do so. Let's just uh, add here one mill point, as we are hitting the mill points cap. And this, guys, allows me to repay all of my loans. And I still have 1.5 thousand ducats to spend on something. That means I'm going to get level 5 advisor, I'm going to get level 3 advisor, then going to get level 3 advisor. So we are generating even more power points while still making money. We want to conquer anything or develop our provinces, right? So what I will do is to cancel the map power privilege because it's nerfed down to hell anyway. I'm going instead of that to get the gaff cap. Ooh, that hurts our crown land. But this is okay. Now we have the free governing capacity. That I'm going to... Let me just... Yes, burgers are loyal. I'll go to Vismar. I'm going to get them. Of course, there's no prosperity. I'll give them the death cost. And now I can dev it for 15 points. And, as we are pretty much already ahead of time on the mill deck, yes we are, because if we take this now, we'll be 45% ahead, so I can spend some power points on the mill points. On the diplo points, we are already ahead, so let's get this province actually... I don't need more slots for the building, so I'm not dev it to, tw to 20. Here I can dev it to 20. Yes, here I needed the, the, the slot for the building. And Bautzen is another province. I'm also, yes, yeah, this is also a good idea to start getting rid of devastation for it. So, dev it once, dev it once, twice, thrice. Get the death cons on this as well. That once, twice. Here I'm also having a death cost already, so dev it twice. Same for this, just dev it. Same for here. So, if we will not fight any more wars in this episode, then I will be actually able to get some prosperity in our province. Because if I change the map modes, 
you will see now the prosperity will be increasing everywhere and at the same time we just got our crown land back, back to 6% thanks to deving the provinces and I'll def a little bit more to get it to 10% just by going by the cheapest provinces like Bautzen just start deving it's 21 I'll be deving just to do it as cheap as possible and now it's 8% so we can get a little bit more Volgas is a perfect province to develop and now we are at 9% and with one more dev click, which will be on Stade, with this one more dev click, right now we are having 10% of the crown land. Guys, it's everywhere. Inukshuk is just following me. It's in every single province. Let's is it in the new world as well? <laughs> it's everywhere now, guys. One of the final steps is to take the power points from the estate. It's 5% but I'm going just to seize the land to get it to 10% right now and I'm not going to sell the titles for some time. Alright boys, I think I have did my job, so just I want to show you the current situation. First of all, we've increased the maximum power to 140,000, our income is almost 100 right now, we have 140 of the force limit, our army quality is pretty decent. And at this point, with these lands, with those two vassals, we are pretty much at full gap capacity, but don't worry, there will be more gap capacity coming from this, let us say what, that will be 125 for us. So, my suggestion for the player, just let me show you also the, I guess, the expansion, my suggestion to the player is to definitely clear the borders in Germany, so conquer these lands, maybe try sniping some more trade centers we have 50% the English shell and we will have to expand further for your vassals if you of course want to keep the Prussian government because another choice is to okay you don't want the Prussian government just get rid of it you keep the Prussian ideas and you'll be able to expand that depends on your goals right if you play tall stay the Prussia if you want to play white long term it's not gonna work or you might stay tall and slowly unite Germany, so you just form Germany later. Totally depends on you. So guys, this is all for today. Thank you so much for coming. I think that was a huge break since the last episode of the Ruined Campaigns. And if you guys enjoyed this and you'd like me to create more Ruined Campaigns, please remember to subscribe to the channel, leave a like on this video, and of course, leave the comment. And for today, thank you so much, and see you soon.